Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a one dimensional data to a 2D data using a single formula. Let's get to it. Here is the monthly sales data for a company from the year 2019 to 2022. You can see that each row gives the sales for a respective month of the year. It would be easier to analyze this data if we convert it into a two dimensional array. This can be done using a single formula. Here I've created the table and put the labels of the year and the different months. We know that this data is serialized where the first 12 rows are for the year 2019, the next 12 for 2020 and so on and so forth. Now we would like the first 12 data to be transposed into first row in this table, the next 12 data to be transposed into the second row of this table. We can achieve this automatically in Excel using a single formula. Let's go to cell F3 and the formula we are going to use is called wrap rows. What this means is it will take a data and wrap it into rows and open the brackets and the first information we need to provide is the vector which is our range which is from cell c3 to c50 and then we want the wrap count since we want to wrap up till 12 months our count is going to be 12 and that's it close the brackets and when you press enter the whole single dimensional data has been converted to two dimensional and we can verify it the 2020 july is supposed to be 106000 2020 july is 106000 let's say that we want to get the quarterly data so we would like to get the data for each quarter for the respective years all we need to do is to wrap this 1d array into a 2d array with three columns so let's go to cell G10 and type in the formula equal to wrap rows, our vector, which is again going to be C3 to C50. And then our wrap count is going to be 3. There, we have the quarterly data for each year. Note that the formatting is not going to come over. So we need to manually select the cells and let's put a dollar symbol wrap rows can be a very useful formula when you need to analyze data in a specific format i hope that this tutorial was of use to you if you liked it please subscribe to my channel till next time ciao